Today I have a simple project. I want to make a stubby check key for my rotary table. This is the one I have for it now. <clears throat> and uh, it's too big, you can see. I try to turn it, hit stuff, and it get in the middle. So I'm going to make a real stubby one so I can just you know, snug it up and then use this big one to tighten it. Get this blank here. It turned out on the lathe. Just a piece of stainless three quarter. We'll put a flat on it. Put four flats on it actually. People have asked me about this rotary table so I figured I'd make a short video on how it works. So what I have here is homemade uh, controller for my table and uh, it's based on an Arduino that drives uh, you know the front panel the display and all that and then uh, I'm using a D-spin controller, a motion controller, to drive the stepper motor. So basically the um, Arduino just tells the motion controller where to go and then uh, doesn't have to do anything else because the D-spin takes care of the rest. Does the X cell, D cell, there's uh, you know torque settings and all that. Now, I also incorporated a jog and shuttle wheel so the outer ring I can use to select what I want to change and then the inner wheel is you know for, for actually changing the value so say I wanted to change the number of divisions You can see that it calculates out how many degrees per step we have. If I want to change the speed, just jog to that value. Change it. Now these speeds are just, you know, arbitrary for me. They don't have anything to do with degrees per division or anything. I mean, uh, you know, degrees per second or anything like that. They're just speeds. See, it's moving fast there. Okay, so let me hone this thing. You can see over here, it's actually moving. There you go. So, uh, let me get the camera set up. Got the edge finder in the mighty wrong foo. And, um, we'll get to milling four 90 degree flats on this, uh, piece of bar stock. Okay so we got the got the piece chucked up in the rotary table and I got my center finder in there. I'm just gonna find the edge of this thing. I know that the flat wants to be uh, 400 across the face of it. And This piece is uh, 660. Okay, there's 
the edge. Okay, so <clears throat> had a half inch edge finder in there. I'm using a half inch mill, so really no math involved in getting this thing in the right th in the right uh, right area here. The edge is the edge. So um, I think it's 660, and I want the uh, square to be 400. So that means I gotta take 130 off of each side. And uh measure the depth of this chuck. We're looking at uh half an inch. So we know a half an inch off of that. So we got it set up for uh, 90 degrees, four divisions, pretty fast slew. Just mill this whole thing like this, but uh, cuts will get kind of heavy, so I'll move it to the next index. That way, we'll be able to whittle it down in stages. Okay, next side, here we go.
take a quick measure here, see what's going on. Get out of there and see if it fits. Okay, so what I ended up doing here is rounding off the corners. I don't know if you can see that. The Scotch Bright wheel. And it fits in the chuck pretty good. All I got to do now is cross drill it for the T handle. This baby's done. Set up for that and we'll be back. Okay, we're on the center. Got the drill chuck in there. Got a centering drill in. And found a piece of bar stock. My junk drawer. It's 235, so I'm going to have a slight press fit on it. I got an A drill here. We'll drill it out for an A. And uh, I just came over an arbitrary amount. I'm not too concerned with that. So here we go. Okay. Well, there we go. Your miniature chuck key, which keeps you from banging into things while you're tightening. I call that a get her done, as, as uh, Keith would say. Thanks for watching.